CNN is apologizing after one of its producers was caught making a sick joke about Donald Trump. That means his plane's crashed. It happened off air moments before reporter Suzanne Malveaux went live at the Carrier Air Conditioner plant where the president-elect was set to speak. The moment never aired, but it was somehow posted on YouTube and created an immediate uproar. You can see Malveaux's eyes bug out at the remark. CNN just issued this statement. An unfortunate and inappropriate remark was made by one of our producers off camera yesterday. We have apologized to the Trump transition team and the producer has been disciplined. Now listen to this. I would rather lose than win the way you guys did. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Yes. No, you wouldn't. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. yes. No, you That's very clear yes. today. No, you wouldn't. Emotions were raw as Kellyanne Conway and Hillary Clinton's communication director, Jennifer Palmieri, go at it during a forum at Harvard University. Extraordinary confrontation between Trump and Clinton campaign strategist shows the bitterness of the election has not faded. Do you think I ran a campaign where white supremacists had a platform? Are you going to look me in the face and tell me that? It did. Kelly and really? did. Oh, it did. And that's how you lost? It did. Oh, Do you think you could have just had a decent message upset. for the white working class voters? Do you think this woman who has nothing in common with anybody... I'm not anybody, saying that's what you want. It's Hillary Clinton. She doesn't connect with he people. How about they have nothing in so, common with her? Robbie Mook, who ran the Clinton campaign, chimed in. I would just say Hillary did win the popular vote. So oh, we're talking about a majority but of the country. She didn't win. Guys, I can tell you're angry, but wow. I mean, it, hashtag he's your you know. president. How's that? Meanwhile, during his victory lap in Ohio, President-elect Trump went after one of his favorite targets, the media. The dishonest press. How about when a major anchor who hosted a debate started crying when she realized that we won? About Trump never said the anchor's name, but he appears to be referring to ABC Newswoman Martha Raddatz and this moment at 1.12 a.m. on election night when Trump was declared victor. Uh, if you have a son in the Marine Corps and that you don't trust the commander in chief, they, the people in the military defend the Constitution. Here's how Trump recollected that moment. Tears. No, tell me this isn't true. And you know what she doesn't understand? Things are going to be much better now. She doesn't understand. ABC News says any claim that Raddatz teared up was ridiculous and untrue. The highly regarded Raddatz also took to Twitter on November 10th to say, it is fiction that I was choked up. Fox's Megyn Kelly had this to say. So her voice cracked up a little bit there, Carl, but Martha Raddatz, she, her voice does that when she talks normally.